Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can set up a dynamic breakpoint within your ABAP coding. So basically, you have the possibility to switch on and off the ABAP debugger based on one uh, checkpoint, basically. And here I have already prepared one sample program and if we have a closer look then we can basically see that one pop-up is being raised, ask you one question if you have subscribed already this YouTube channel. If you have not done this, please do this now, please subscribe to this YouTube channel to support my work and to not miss great upcoming videos. And depending on the answer then a message will be output in the message bar in the status bar and then i'm doing some calculations and then i'm outputting one string on the screen so if we um, open this up for example test we can see um, what this is doing and yeah as mentioned this is the way to go if you would like to set up a breakpoint, a static breakpoint, of course, you can set up a session breakpoint, you can set up an external breakpoint, you can set up watch points, but you can really set up static breakpoints by using uh, the break point statement, break minus point, and then we can activate this. But please immediately forget this because you should not transport this into the productive system. And this is a great chance to um, start the debugger if you have no clue um, how you can reach this point, how you can um, set the, the breakpoint for whatever reason you always would like to start the debugger, then you can do this. This is one chance. Of course, there are better possibilities, but this is one chance. And if we execute this, then we can see that the debugger is started at this statement. Okay. What you also can do is instead of um, creating a static breakpoint for almost or for every SAP user, you can use break and then entering your SAP username. So in this case, um, developer, as I'm using the ABAP Cloud Try 2022, and then I'm executing, um, then test for example, then the debugger is started once again and with f8 we can get out of this and if we for example would enter any other user that doesn't exist basically so this and then execute this once again then we will see that the other debugger is not started because i'm not logged in with the named sap user what you also can do is you can set up a dynamic abap breakpoint and therefore you have to use basically the statement once again break minus point but with an addition and its id and then you have to um, yeah, enter your checkpoint variant that you have to create so now here we can see that this checkpoint group is unknown it's not yet created and therefore you have to go to the transaction SAAB <clears throat> and here you basically have to um, to type in your um, uh, checkpoint variant so in this case set underscore test underscore debugger then you click on this create button then if you want to you can enter one description confirm this um, specify this to a package where you want to i am linking this to the dollar team p package so as a local object and then within here you have the switch so down here you can basically um, set the breakpoint to inactive or to active if you select the option break and that's what we're going to do so um break and then after you hit the save button or using control s you can specify the validity period so if you would like to set this active to just today or this week or by some kind of date whatever you prefer so i would like to set this active to today this is okay and now if we go once again into our coding 
and now we're using control f2 doing the syntax check then no syntax check has been found we need to set this to active and if we now execute this then we can see because the checkpoint variant is active the ABAP debugger is started and you can analyze your coding yes if you would like to set your checkpoint to inactive then we have to go once again into the SAAB set this to inactive save this and then it's important basically to um, yeah, restart your program so just going back and then doing it once again um, yeah we'll, we'll see that your uh, checkpoint is inactive and then you can basically um, do um, the program without starting the ABAP debugger and if we once again go into the SAAB set this to break to today this is fine and now once again go into our coding test um, then we have to restart this so F8 test and then the ABAP debugger will start so this is how it's gonna be and yeah if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section please like this video and as mentioned please subscribe to this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video